After a long practice session with my scythe using the DJI O2 system, I switched to O3 on a build I've been working on, and noticed that O3 felt off and not as smooth and responsive as the O2 system. Instead of flying, I focused on the smoothness of the frame rate and could clearly see that there was some kind of micro stutter or hitching that was occurring very frequently. When I did a constant yaw spin, the issue was much easier to observe, and I was curious if this was normal O3 variable latency or something else. I couldn't notice the issue on the goggle recording I'm showing you now, but this records at half the frame rate. I have the V2 goggles and run both systems at 120 frames per second, which is butter smooth if the frame rate is constant. I started changing various settings like recording resolution to see if it may be performance related. And after switching the transmission configuration from automatic to manual, everything seemed to become butter smooth and responsive. I did multiple flights like this and changed back the recording settings to the maximum 4K 120 frames per second. And it still felt locked in and smooth. And it felt a lot more like the O2 system in terms of flight feel and smoothness. I am running the V2 Two goggles in 120 FPS mode in a residential environment with a lot of Wi-Fi noise. So it's possible that this is unique to this type of environment and these goggles. But it is clear that setting transmission to manual as you would in the O2 system is essential to maintain a stable connection and frame rate. I watched the DVR footage with the SRT file overlay to observe the reported link latency and frame rate before and after, and noticed that the bit rates seem to fluctuate more and have higher latency spikes in automatic mode. I put the data files through D3VL's awesome latency analytics tool, and here you can see the flow light and manual transmission mode. The bitrate holds at 50 megabits per second with a few tiny dips and the latency is between 20 to 30 milliseconds, but normally below 25 milliseconds. Switching to automatic, Holy scrotum, that's a mess. The average latency jumps between 25 to 35 milliseconds, with some spikes above 40 milliseconds. The bitrate is all over the place as well. Since 120 frames per second has a frame-to-frame -frame latency of 8 milliseconds, constantly delaying for multiple frames makes sense, since you have to with that type of abrupt deviation in latency. If you have the V2 goggles, you should switch transmission to manual and avoid DJI's automatic rectal cancer mode. For the goggles 2 or Integra, I have no clue if you're affected, since it may be designed for the lower frame rate of these goggles but it's definitely worth trying out. Recursion Labs.